Volvo XC90 is one of the most popular and well-known luxury SUVs on today's market and it's very well loved by people like Jeremy Clarkson and that's why it may be the perfect car for my 2023 1500 mile road trip to the French Alps. Without further ado, let's kick this video off with some of the XC90's most luxurious features including a rear blind which blocks out the sunlight when it's getting in your face when you're trying to rest or when it gets those annoying reflections on your phone screen. In the rear this car also has the air conditioning where you can control the temperature and the fan speed. You also notice this lovely armrest with the cup holders which fold away nice and neatly. But even though I'm not in the front seat, I'd like to say my favourite feature of this car is the massaging, the heating and the cooled features on the two front seats which are absolutely amazing and this car also has the super nice panoramic sunroof which opens up and I just love it when it's open in the summer. And the XC90 we're travelling in this video is the D5 meaning it has a 2 litre twin turbocharged diesel 4 cylinder that produces 231 horsepower and 480 newton meters of torque. It also weighs a massive weight of 2.069 tonnes which means it can do 0 to 60 miles an hour in 7.8 seconds with a top speed of 137 miles an hour. However, that's not that heavy compared to the G-Wagon which is 2.65 tonnes so it's a lot lighter but you know there's a massive price difference. And now we've finished talking about the car we can get back to the road trip. As you can see, we're just driving on the roads around London, heading our way to the Premier Inn Hotel in Folkestone. And as soon as we wake up in the morning, we will head down to the Euro Tunnel and we will head straight across to Calais, which will be a very long journey from there to the Alps. And as soon as we got to the hotel, we went to this like nice seating area in the restaurant and just had some nice drinks. And after that, we headed to the room. And as you can see, it's a lovely uh, just double bed and two single bedroom. It's really nice with, of course, the bathroom and all the basic facilities of the Premier Inn Hotel. And I just think this room is such great value and, you know, it's a really nice room for the cost. And, of course, it's great for a good night's sleep. And I'll see you guys in the morning when we're carrying on the trip. And, of course, the mandatory hotel theft. Every time you leave the Premier Inn, you've got to take the kettle and the glasses with you. Of course, I didn't really. I put them back. But here we are on the road heading down to the Euro Tunnel in the Folkestone area, as you see, the Folkestone sign. And as soon as we get to the Euro Tunnel, we will get on there straight away and head over to Calais. So as you can see, we're nearly there. And I'd like to say thank you so much for over 700 subscribers. And make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss more videos. On the Euro Tunnels, there of course are toilets, however, there are no luxurious cafes like on the ferries and it's nowhere near as nice and nowhere near as quiet. However, you can go between the carriages to get to those toilet ones and there are stairs so you can go to a different level. You'll also see all the instructions and safety stuff on the side and of course it's quite a nice experience being on it because it's so much different to the ferries. And here is a little viewing of the front of the XC90, it's such a lovely colour interior and I just think it's so luxurious and amazing. If you're enjoying this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because more road trip videos will be coming out every single year. And as you can see, we're pulling up in France now and we're about to get off on the car. And we're now out on the open French motorways and I'm going to be telling you a bit about the location where we're going to. But first, let's get through this first toll booth uh, of the massive journey and I'm going to tell you a bit about the location. So we're heading to the Mont Blanc Valley and we're going to be going to the village of Argentier. And don't worry because we're going to be travelling to loads of different locations around there. And I will leave links to the different businesses down below so you can check them out for yourself. And I definitely recommend going to them because they're just so good. And the weather on this trip has already been so good and it makes the scenery look absolutely amazing, especially that Porsche Cayenne e-hybrid I just saw. If you guys haven't been to France already, you should definitely go because it's such an amazing country. Now we're about to arrive in the Mont Blanc Valley and go into the lovely bar, the office bar in Argentier, which I will leave a link to down below if you guys want to check it out for yourself. Anyway, we're just arriving and I'll see you guys in a bit. And of course, Orangina is my go-to drink in France. Definitely always get Orangina. But 
but it's now the morning and it's time to take you guys around the area but as you can see it's very snowy and very cold outside the trip was so good on the way and we also when we arrived we collected the skis from the ski rental place but yeah it's time to go a little walk and show you some nice cars First up is this amazing Audi S8 V10 I found and I just think this car was absolutely amazing and probably my most favourite spot so far as well as that abbed Audi SQ7 and the scenery here is just amazing. I absolutely love this country especially with all the lovely traditional chalets and of course the snowy foresty mountain background. As this is my annual French road trip video this will be coming out again next year but in a slightly new and improved form with lots of feedback taken and don't worry i will keep posting videos consistently throughout the summer and next year the video will come out closer to the filming date unlike this one because this video was actually filmed in february and of course the best thing about france the cuisine not only is there orangina of course my favorite drink there is also some amazing fries here at the office bar that come with some sauces and I just think they're so nice especially after eating that waffle at the waffle shack in Chamonix and these pizzas at the stone bar as you can see this is some few clips of me skiing however if you don't want to watch the skiing you can just skip ahead with the timestamps I've left below but thank you for watching so far keep watching to see the end in the snow is just so amazing however it is quite sunny and there's no snow on the trees because there's not been that much snowfall recently but you know it's just still so beautiful with all the snow around and i absolutely love skiing especially with these mountainous views they just look so amazing as well as this pretty cool smart 44 brabus i found in the car park with some nice brabus rims and carbon mirrors which are absolutely insane on such a small little city car but I also saw this Porsche 991 911 GT3 RS, which was absolutely amazing. But on the trip back, you'll see all the nighttime traveling. It was so early when we got up, it's so dark. But yeah, I've just sped this bit up because it's not really that much to see in the dark. If you enjoyed this video, I really hope you did, and make sure to come back for next year's one. But don't worry, it's not over just yet. As you can see, we're leaving through the valley, heading through Chamonix, and it's so sad to be leaving the Mont Blanc Valley so soon, because I feel like a week just isn't enough, but we have to appreciate the time we have on holiday because it's so amazing, and I love creating these videos for you guys. And the ski slopes we visited on the Mont Blanc Valley Resort were the Le Souche Runs, the Grand Monte, and the Tour, and I just think those three are my favorite places in the world because they're so like the scenery is amazing and they're just so fun to ski down but don't worry skiing is not the only thing that i came to film on this trip it was of course the road trip and some of the cars which include this high coat volvo xc90 which looks so amazing with those quad exhaust pipes and then of course that g63 that's cruising up ahead and as you guys know i absolutely love the mercedes g-wagon it's probably one of my favorite cars ever created because it's just so amazing fast and luxurious with a combination of very unique and bold styling when i say bold i mean very boxy but this trip has been quite a long one in terms of the journey and it's quite exhausting being in the car for like eight hours at a time even as a passenger but yeah that's not only the only cars we saw we saw this mercedes maybach jet class which was really really cool and probably my favorite spot of the trip just because like i've never seen a maybach van before they're so cool and of course coming to the tolls before we get to the euro tunnel again and yeah nearly back in england and i really enjoyed france bye bye france we'll see you next year but don't worry we'll be back and better content will be coming very soon but yeah it's time to get on the euro tunnel And we're now back in England, traveling along the motorway, heading home. 
When we got home, we got some takeaway fish and chips, which is not very usual for us. We don't normally have takeaway, but you know, after a long journey, I think we earned it. But yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. See you next time.